Hi guys, my name is Lejo and uh, I work for the Intel. Uh, welcome to my session today. Yeah, mm, my today's topic is build up for management chain using the CCFD solution. Mm. Uh, this is today's agenda. Uh, first, today I will introduce uh, uh, several terminologies about the confidential computing. And then I'll uh, introduce the design of the confidential computing uh, for disk encryption so, uh, solution, yeah. Mm. And then I'll uh, introduce how to integrate the CCFD with the keyword. Uh, finally, I'll show you the CCFD demo. The first one is a uh, trusted execution environment, uh, TE. Uh, TE is a segregated area of memory. Uh, that is protected uh, using uh, encryption. Uh, TE is a hardware-based technology like Intel uh, TDX and the AMD SEV uh, or ARM Realm. Yeah. Uh, it aims to narrow the attack surface in the data center or in the cloud uh, through hardware-level isolation within a virtual machine. Uh, in other words, TE is to uh, protect the data in use. Mm. Right now, the Kubert uh, already has uh, the uh, AMD SEV support. But for the Intel TDX support, uh, it depends on the uh, TDX upstream status. So uh, currently, I uh, maintain the uh, downstream, the, uh, I maintain the downstream uh, Kubert, uh, TDX enabled Kubert. Uh, if you you have a TS enabled CN server, you can follow the instruction and try it. Another one is uh, for disk encryption, uh, FDE. Uh, FDE is a security mechanism that encrypts the entire contents of disk, include, uh, including the operating system, uh, system files, or and the user data. Mm. FDE is uh, used to protect the data at rest. So you just need to know uh, T uh, it protects the data in use. Uh, FDE protects the data at rest. And like I said before, uh, T encrypts the memory uh, based on the hardware technology, um, which helps to uh, uh, preserve the integrity and uh, uh, confidentiality of your uh, runtime workload. Mm. But uh, right now, the T is not perfect. Uh, it uh, uh, has a full, uh, let's see the picture here. Um, the memory in the confidential VM uh, is encrypted. We call it uh, private memory. Uh, the DMA cannot directly uh, load the data into the uh, private memory. Uh, in the confidential VM, the DMA layers uh, uh, have to call the uh, SWLTLB to allocate uh, a shared buffer, and then use CPU to uh, copy the data between the uh, temporary shared buffer and the uh, private memory. But the problem is uh, the shared buffer is, uh, uh, is not uh, encrypted. Uh, so data in the shared buffer in plain text. We can see the picture here. Uh, I dump the uh, data in the shared buffer. Uh, we can see the data in the shared buffer in the plain text, uh, which means some malicious applications can easily hack the data in the uh, uh, shared buffer. Uh, if we use the uh, FDE uh, to encrypt our image, so, uh, the data in the uh, so data in the shared buffer can also be encrypted by the software-based technology. Yeah. Uh, so so right now the data uh, in the uh, private memory is encrypted by the uh, hardware-based technology uh, TE. Yeah, I mean uh, the shared buffer is protected by the uh, FDE. Uh, software-based technology. So we recommend to use the uh, uh, 
uh, T and uh, FD together to uh, enhance the integrity and the confidentiality of your workload in runtime. So the CCFD solution is to teach you how to use the uh, FDE in the confidential computing scenario uh, correctly. Uh, and uh, uh, compared with the traditional FDE, uh, user, the end users may need to store the uh, uh, password and uh, uh, enter the password when they need to uh, uh, decrypt the image. But in our CCFDE, uh, our process uh, uh, automatic, uh, we leverage the uh, remote attestation to achieve uh, a passwordless FDE, yeah. Mm. This is the whole design of the CCFD uh, solution. Uh, the blue picture only covers the, uh, only cover the uh, decryption process. Uh, for the encryption uh, process, it's similar with the traditional FDE, so I do not wait uh, waste a lot of time to introduce the uh, encryption process. Yeah. Mm. Before uh, starting the uh, uh, before starting the encry uh, encrypted uh, confidential VM, uh, we have to inject uh, some data into the OVMF, like the key block service URL uh, certificate and the encryption key ID. Um, this data will be used in later. Mm. So, uh, in when we make the uh, encrypted image, we will install the uh, FD agent into the NERD. This agent is the core of the uh, CCFD solution. Uh, let me introduce it detailly. Uh, Firstly, this agent will cause a function to get the code. Uh, code is the uh, evidence of the current uh, execution environment. Uh, it will go to the uh, co uh, it will go to the uh, code generation service on the host. Uh, this service will uh, generate the uh, code. Code is a, a signature of the uh, Trusted computing base and uh, OVMF and uh, uh, OS. You can see this is the uh, evidence of the current of uh, current execution environment. Uh, after collecting the uh, evidence, the agent will talk with the key block service uh, to retrieve the encryption key. The key block service will uh, trigger the remote attestation. With the uh, with the evidence. Uh, for the remote attestation, I'll introduce it more detail in next slide. Uh, after after the uh, keep uh, after the remote uh, attestation, assessing the uh, trustworthiness of the current execution environment. Uh, finally, the key block service will release the encryption key. The, uh, after the agent receives the key, it will decrypt the uh, root FS. That is uh, another difference. Uh, in our design, we only uh, encrypt the root FS, uh, not the whole disk, mm, because uh, the other parts of the, the uh, image, like the bootloader and the kernel and the NERD, they are already uh, be, uh, wrecked in the uh, in the code, and the, these components will be measured in the remote attestation. So, uh, if any uh, any components uh, are being changed, the remote attestation will fail, and the key block service will uh, not release the key finally. Yeah. So, uh. So for the CCFDE solution is a little bit uh, complex. Uh, let me summarize it and uh, compare it with uh, traditional FDE. Yeah. Uh, uh, traditional FDE uh, 
you just uh, uh, the end user just need to uh, store the key and uh, uh, enter the password when they need to choose, uh, decrypt the image. But for our uh, CCFD, we have to do the uh, uh, flow of remote attestation and, uh, to assess the trustworthiness of our uh, current execution environment uh, before uh, before releasing the key. Yeah. Mm. So it means uh, the encrypted uh, image only can be decrypted uh, after uh, after assessing the trustworthiness of the current execution environment. Okay, this is the uh, detailed uh, workflow of uh, F, uh, remote attestation. Uh, so FDA agent is a uh, an attester, uh, it will be verified by the uh, external and the trusted uh, service. Yeah, uh, the agent will will call the uh, CC trusted API to get the uh, evidence. Uh, this API is an unified and uh, vendor agnostic API that we defined uh, for workload management. Mm. It uh, isolates the uh, differences of the uh, different hardware vendors. It means uh, our CCFDE uh, solution also works for different hardware vendors like uh, AMD SEV and uh, ARM uh, Realm. But in this session, I uh, use the uh, Intel TTX, uh, for example. Yeah. Mm. After we uh, we are re, uh, receiving the uh, evidence. We are uh, request to uh, request the encryption key. The Intel key block service will uh, trigger uh, trigger the remote attestation with the evidence. Uh, the Intel Trust Authority uh, is our Intel official uh, attestation service. Uh, it's, uh, it validates the uh, send uh, evidence. I mean the code, yeah. Uh, if the uh, if the execution environment is trustworthy, the key block service will uh, fetch the key from the key storage and uh, finally uh, provision the secret to the uh, FDA agent. Uh, I attached the link of the uh, CC Trusted API and the Intel Trust Authority and the uh, in Intel KPS reference design. Uh, if you are interested with them, you can uh, go to this link. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's start to uh, introduce how to integrate the CCFDE with the uh, uh, Kubernetes. Uh, I assume the I assume the uh, uh, Kubernetes is already uh, supports the TE. Uh, for almost the parts of the uh, CCFDE is the uh, same as the uh, uh, bare metal, uh, but there is an additional uh, effort uh, um, here um, in the Kubernetes, the very launch port is stateless, so each very launch port has a uh, has a same uh, OVMF. So before we uh, I mean before we want to use uh, uh, before we want to use uh, uh, CCFD, we have to uh, inject a uh, uh, key block service information and the encryption key. Into the OVMF, we uh, we need to develop a uh, in roto or a lib to support this uh, function. After we uh, we support this uh, function, other parts of the uh, CCFD is uh, transparent to the Kubernetes.
Да. Yeah, this is uh, uh, encryption process. Uh, we have to create an empty image right now, and uh, uh, we have to uh, enroll the variables to the OVMF, like the URL search and the uh, encryption key. Keep a little bit. Yeah, this is the uh, same with the uh, traditional FDE that we uh, encrypt and uh, Mount Lucas partition. Yeah, but uh, in our design, we only encrypt the root FS, not the whole disk. The other part is the uh, same as the uh, traditional FDE, so let's skip it. And now we will uh, set up the root FS successfully, and uh, we get an uh, encrypted uh, image. Let's start to decrypt the image. Let's launch the virtual machine. Okay. Let, let me post it. Uh, this is the uh, uh, code of the ex, uh, current execution environment. Uh, the FDA agent uh, will collect the code and then it will uh, send it to the key block service for the remote attestation. Let's wait several seconds to uh, for more attestation. The user data is the encryption key ID. The user data is the encryption key ID, yeah. Mm. Okay, we will uh, get the response. Uh, it means the it means the uh, execution environment is trustworthy and uh, uh, so it's uh, so KB, key block service will send back the uh, signature. Yeah, we we'll, we can see the prompt here. Encryption key retrieved. Can launch our confidential VM successfully. Process is uh, automatically. Uh, the user uh, don't need to uh, store the password by themselves and uh, don't need to worry about uh, lose CR key yet. Uh, we can see the label of uh, root FS, yeah. The type of the root FS is uh, crypto Lucas, which means the uh, root FS is uh, encrypted and right now it's being decrypted yeah so that's all all process of our ccfde it seems a little a minute left uh let me show you the uh encryption process Quickly, uh, it's uh, it's uh, very similar uh, with uh, traditional FDE. So user need to uh, to uh, register the key. Yeah, but there is an additional step that uh, we need to create a key transparent uh, policy. See, uh, see the additional step. Yeah. 
uh, we can see an example here. Uh, this is a, a key transparent policy example. It contains the um, data of your uh, current execution environment, like the like the CPU security number or the RTMR R, uh, property uh, represents the RTMR R, R register. Uh, this is the value of the RTMR register. It will contain the uh, contain the uh, kernel kernel information and uh, uh, bootloader information. Uh, this will uh, be attested. Uh, uh, this will be measured in the uh, remote attestation to check the uh, trustworthiness of your uh, execution environment. That's all about our uh, CCFD. Thank you for uh, so thank you for listening to my topic today. Have a good day. Bye.